Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Morris Man, and as always, I thank you guys for coming to my channel. Today, I thought I would do a video, I guess kind of paying tribute to a unsung bass player, because we all know that, uh, you know, Victor Wooten has gotten his praise and props, and he deserves it. Larry Graham, Louis, the late Louis Johnson, the late Bernard Edwards from Chic, and the list goes on. And these were phenomenal and are phenomenal bass players. But there are some bass players that unfortunately kind of fell through the cracks and they just never got the notoriety as the gas that I just previously mentioned. And uh, one particular person I've been meaning to do this video for the longest is Leon Silvers from the Silvers. Now, when a lot of people think of the Silvers, they say, I don't really remember all this funky, super bass stuff. And you're right. I don't think that Leon Silvers really kind of got his due until he started to do production for other artists like uh, Dynasty and uh, just it was a, a bunch of other people on the Solar Records uh, record uh, stable that they that Leon Silvers wrote a lot of songs for them and you can hear Shalomar Shalomar is another one uh, that you can hear the extraordinary bass playing and bass lines of Leon Silvers because I mean Leon Silvers was a what well, is a heck of a producer and a heck of a bass player because uh i got a good ear you know and my first instrument actually was trumpet then it went to, then i played bass for several years and then i found guitar and i said this is what i really like to play so uh i got a good ear and, and bass is really a pretty easy instrument to play now when i said that before i got some people what do you mean now, I'm not talking about playing like James Jameson because, of course, that was a whole level different level of playing. But most people don't play like James Jameson. Most bass players play a series of patterns. You know, in R&B songs, they play normally it's like two patterns. I give you a good example. Billy Jean. Two patterns. Dun, 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 dun. Second pattern. Dun, 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 dun. That's it. That's the whole song. Well, well then that other part. Dun, 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 dun. But that's... Uh, lumped in with the other segment of that other part but it's technically like two parts but uh basically that's what most bass players play they just play a pattern now jazz is different they play in scales and uh they play in chromatic scales and things of that nature but uh the majority of the bass players or bass playing style in r&b pop is just playing a series of patterns and normally it's just two patterns or maybe three at the most not hard to do at all not hard to do at all but when I listened to Leon Silver's uh, bass lines, the first thing I said to myself, where do I start? Because it's like, it's kind of hard to describe his bass playing because he has a very unique style of playing. And uh, it was a guy on YouTube who actually did a cover of a song that I said, yeah, this is real complicated. And I listened to it and watched his hands. I'm like, he's all over the place. You know, so uh, a very unique style of bass playing. And just, you know, if I had to kind of describe him or describe him more closely I would say it's kind of a combination of Bernard Edwards stuff because because Bernard Edwards stuff was kind of hard to play physically too uh I think it was dance uh yeah the the chic song dance 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 yaza 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 I remember and I said to myself it's obvious I'm not the only one that feels and thinks this way because that song is real taxing on the fingers you know he's playing like uh using his two fingers and he's just kind of, I call it the Gallup style. And that's five, six minutes of that. And I remember watching the guy who posted a cover of that. And he, he did this. And I said, I understand. He said, you know, in the subject line, I'm only going to do two minutes of this because this is as much I, as I can do, you know, without, you know, tiring out and crashing, you know, and hitting wrong notes and being exhausted from playing, you know, that consistent note. These two two notes for, you know, five, six minutes. I said, I totally understand because you're right. I got through like four minutes and I was done and I had two more minutes to go, you know. So uh, Leon Silvers to me, his style is very similar, but not identical to Bernard Edwards. I mean, if you just listen to any Dynasty song, any Shalimar song, and you hear Leon Silver's bass lines, and it's like, whoa, you know, uh, a very different style of playing. And again, you know, he never really got his due as a great bass player, because when people think of him and speak of him, they, they, they mention the Silver years when he's playing with his, his brothers and sisters, and then his writing and production skills, but rarely ever they discuss his extraordinary bass playing skills. Because again, bass for the most part is the easiest instrument to play. And there's some people that's going to dis dispute me and, and debate me on that. But 
as a musician that plays several instruments myself, I can say that. Now, the people that want to dispute me never play piano, never play guitar, you know, just bass. And it's like, if you think bass is hard, try playing piano, you know, and playing it the right way. Try playing guitar, playing it the right way. You know, so uh, it's interesting when I got people that want to chime in and dispute me, but yet they can't really uh, draw a good conclusion because they only play one instrument. You know, I play several, and I, like I said, out of all of them, bass is the easiest. Uh, trumpet was not that difficult, but the problem with trumpet, like I said, I started as a trumpet player, was uh, it's a physical instrument. You got to blow, and I'm like, I just ain't got a lot of wind to be blowing all the time. You know, I was getting headaches and getting dizzy. I was like, no, nah, I got to get this up. You know, but uh, I just want to post this video because I've been meaning to do this video for a very long time to just really pay tribute to a, a unbelievable bass player, in my opinion, Leon Silvers. Till next time, take care. Thanks for watching.